to get a visa to get to America because believe it or not, you need a visa if you have to come from here for two days. I don't even understand that. I mean, you don't even have a free healthcare, but whatever. So, what they asked me here is um, if I ever been or if I was ever involved in espionage or sabotage, terrorist activities or genocide. Oh, between 1933 and 1945, I was involved in any way in persecution association with Nazi Germany or its allies. <laughs> you know what? Yes. I was there on September 2nd, 1939, and I marched on Poland. <laughs> then 96 years later, I thought Poland was too small, so after 27 facial lifting, I did with Berlusconi's daughter, <laughs> I decided to invade America with a plan, a ladybug, and 20 salami. This <laughs> land is your land. That is now my land. You give me dollars, I give you hand. <laughs> that is your land. That is my land. I march on you like I did with Poland. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> so, let me tell you something about my girlfriend, one last thing. She told me I'm not mad enough. She said, Joe, you don't even open the car door to me. I said, Katie, that's a very cultural thing. I mean, in Italy. A man opens the car door to a woman on an occasion. Yeah. When he has a new car, or a new woman. <laughs> as simple as that. But inside me, I was thinking, am I mad enough? I mean, in bed I can be uh, creative, a bit perverse, not perverted, but perverse. Do you know there's a difference? Do you know the difference? No? no? Let me tell you the difference. <laughs> so, a perverse person like me, likes to use something like uh, um, a feather to like tickle it up. Whereas the perverted one just grabs the whole chicken. <laughs> 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 All right guys, you have been great. Uh, I will stay longer, but uh, I got to wake up tomorrow to have some breakfast. So have a good night. Have a great show.